we have a pretty big collection of financial ratios, um, profitability ratios, turnover ratios, etc. We could approach this just from this perspective of going down our list, saying our return on equity went from 49 to 15, profit margin 9 to 3.7, and keep moving on down our fixed asset turnover from 71 to 38, inventory from 1.94 to 3.68. But what we're going to find is it's too much information for us to digest and keep track of. So instead, we're going to use the DuPont identity to organize and create a framework for discussing our firm's financial performance. And that's what we attempt to do on this ROE decomposition template page. Notice we've got a top section which has the four components of the um, DuPont ROE decomposition. And then we're going to see we have a section on profitability, a section on asset turnover, and a section on our financial leverage. And we're also going to tackle a little something on there to talk about um, financial liquidity. But we've got basically a four-part framework. We're going to look at our overall what happened to return on equity. With respect to return on equity, we've got three drivers, profitability, asset turnover, and leverage. And we're going to look at each one of these in turn. Our overall goal, and what you'll need to do for the exam, is to create this sort of four-part ROE decomposition. Again, you'll spend a paragraph talking about overall what happened to uh, your company's return on equity and then another paragraph discussing what happened to its profitability, then a paragraph discussing what happened to its asset turnover, and finally you'll discuss what happened to its financial leverage and uh, liquidity. So you're going to need to follow this framework for evaluating LA Gear for you both the homework and for your take-home exam. Let's begin by taking a look at what we need to know to write this first paragraph. Overall, what happened to LA Gear's return on equity and why? To begin, we see that LA Gear's um, return on equity decreased from 49% to 15%. So, in terms of the trend, we would say it decreased. In terms of the evaluation, we need to be a little careful here because recall when we talked and looked at our return on equity, we said one of the drivers was financial leverage. And if return on equity has gone up simply because we have more financial leverage, or has gone down simply because we have less, you would want to be careful about evaluating it because of that trade-off between risk and return. But given our LA Gear's um, return on equity has dropped from 49% down to 15%, we can pretty much say that things have gotten worse. And in fact, now LA Gear's return on equity of 15% is below or worse than the industry average. Next step. What were the three drivers and what happened to each of them? Our three drivers, remember, profit margin, turnover, and asset to equity ratio. Our profit margin, our profit margin went from 9.8% to 3.47%. So our profit margin decreased. When it goes down, we say that's worse. And since that was in the same direction as the change in return on equity, we said it contributed to the overall change. And in terms of industry comparisons, at 3.47, we're lower than the industry average of 6.74%. So we are worse than the industry average. Next, let's look at our asset turnover. Our asset turnover was 1.69. We were generating $1.69 in sales for every dollar we had in assets. And over the last, uh, the next two years, LA Gear improved. We're now generating $2.48 in sales for every dollar in assets. So we've become more efficient at using our assets. Our asset turnover has increased. And in terms of valuation, again, we're more efficient. So that's better. That's good news. Since it increased, but ROE decreased, this sort of offset the overall trend. Again, from an operations perspective, profitability, we got worse. But from an operations perspective, this was somewhat offset by an improved asset turnover. And compared to the industry, the industry generates $2 in sales for every dollar in assets. We're at $2.48. We are better than the industry average. Financial leverage will be the next thing we're going to look at. Our financial leverage, we did have $2.97 in assets for every dollar in equity. We're now down to 1.7. Our financial leverage has decreased. In terms of our valuation, 
we need to be careful about saying whether something's better or worse because we call a higher financial leverage means more risk, but it also increases our return on equity. Um, the fact that our return on our financial leverage has gone down, that's a good from a risk perspective, but from a return on equity perspective, it's not so good. So rather than better or worse, we're going to put less risk. In terms of the impact on return on equity, though, when our leverage goes down, our return on equity goes down. And in this case, it contributed to the overall trend. And again, compared to the industry, I don't know that we really want to say better or worse. We will just say that we have more risk than the industry average because we've got $1.77 in assets for every dollar in equity, and the industry only has $1.40 in assets. So they're using $0.40 cents for in debt for every dollar in equity where we're using $0.77. Cents. We have more financial leverage and higher risk. In terms of your write-up, we're essentially looking for four or five sentences. Your first sentence should tell me what happened to overall to your return on equity. So notice, here it is. LA Gear's return on equity decreased sharply over the past three years from 49% to 15% in 1990, and it's now below the industry average of 19%. And there were our numbers. The source of the decline, this is the next thing that we were identifying. We want to look at the factors and identify the factors that contributed to the decline. Notice here's our sentence. The source of the decline is a decrease in LA Gear's profit margin, which contributed and a reduction in its financial leverage, which contributed. These were offset by an improvement in LA Gear's asset turnover. So these are the sentences I want. First sentence, tell me what happened to our ROE overall, then tell me which factors contributed and which factors offset, if there were any. Now that you've done that, I want one sentence on each one of these factors, one on profit margin, one on leverage, and then finally one on asset turnover. And the information's right in front of us. Our profit margin declined from 9.85% to 3.47%, and now it's roughly half the industry average. Next again, talk about the next contributing factor. LA Gear's financial leverage, as measured by its asset to equity ratio, declined from 2.97 down to 1.77 in 1990. This is still above the industry average of 1.4, which means that LA Gear is taking on less financial risk than it was, but still more financial risk than the industry on the whole. Finally, discuss the offsetting trend if there were any, and in this case the offsetting trend was an improvement in asset turnover. Asset turnover increased from um, 1.69 to 2.48, and it's better than the industry average of 2.4. So there we've got, first, tell me what happened with ROE in total identify which factors contributed and which factors offset, which the contributing factors were profit margin and leverage. Then, basically one sentence on each of the contributing factor. Whenever it has to do with leverage, talk about risk. And then a sentence about the offsetting trends or factors, if any.